Hi, I'm Claire Tompkins, the Clutter Coach, and this is the Organize Your Life podcast. I am passionate about organizing because it makes my clients' lives so much easier, more relaxed, and with more time to spend the way they want to. In every podcast in the show, I'll lay out a simple organizing concept, and I'll tell you why it's important. I'll also include an action step at the end so you can start practicing right away. My specialty is chunking down this big topic so it's not overwhelming. That's the concept for this podcast, which is based on my first book, 52 Simple Ways to Get Organized. The book is available on my website and on Amazon. I work with clients in person in the Berkeley, California area and via email and Skype, so you don't have to be local to me. Visit the Hire tab on my website or email me at claire at cluttercoach.net. If you like the show, please rate it and review it. To do that, go to my website, cluttercoach.net, and scroll down for the show notes. Each show notes post has a link to leave a review in iTunes. I would so appreciate that. Okay, on to the podcast. This is podcast 79, and it's based on simple way number 51 in my book called Work Backwards. For the last several months, I've been talking about other topics that aren't in the book, but today we're back, and only one more simple way to go after that? Then I need new material again. Don't be shy, dear listeners, about suggesting subjects you'd like to hear about. You can post them to my Facebook page, where you'll find me as Clutter Coach, or you can email me at claire at cluttercoach.net. I would love to hear from you. Working backwards is a technique to use when you can't seem to find your way into your project. It's kind of similar to the time travel concept I talk about in Podcast 64 back in July. Are you stuck because you don't know how to do something? You know what the desired end result is. You can imagine it and visualize it, but you can't figure out how to get from here to there. So here's the idea. Try working backwards from the result that you desire. You've achieved the result. It's done. It's worked out great. You're finished. Let's have an example now. Let's say that your result is that you got your book published. For this technique, you need a specific project like that. You need to be able to articulate it simply so that it's clear in your mind. You can actually write it down in not very many words. Of course, you need to write it down because putting something in writing clarifies your thoughts about it. Then start asking questions. What was the last thing you did before the book was in your hands or up on your website? Probably it was to give it one last proofreading. And what did you write before that? Well, let's say it was you signed off on the final cover art. And before that, see, you get the idea. You write out a backwards timeline and you include each step. You don't need to get too detailed and add in all the rounds of proofreading, for example. But if you're still scratching your head trying to figure out the steps, ask yourself what some other writer who's not you would would have done. That makes it less personal, more objective, It gives you some distance from a perhaps touchy subject. It can diffuse any emotional sabotaging your brain might be up to, reminding you that you still haven't published that blasted book, and who do you think you are anyway? All that gremlin stuff. I talk about that a bit in Podcast 71 about starting. So better yet, draw this on a big piece of paper or a whiteboard. On the right side, draw a circle and write that end result into it. Then draw an arrow that points to the left side of that circle, and then draw another circle to the left of that that connects to the end of that arrow, so it's pointing to the right. And that is where the penultimate step goes. Keep drawing circles connected with arrows from right to left across the paper, and put in the steps as you cast your mind back and think, what would have happened right before that? You can mix it up with colors and different shapes if that helps you stay on task. Your imagination is powerful. Although you might have trouble seeing ahead into an unknown future, if you project yourself into the future, you can look back and see how you got there. As they say, hindsight is twenty twenty vision. You know the whole story when you imagine the ending. Now you just have to get it out of your head and onto the paper. Remember that there may be many paths to get somewhere, but you only need one. Don't let yourself get confused by multiple options. Perfectionists often fall into this trap. Just too many good options to choose from. Focus instead on getting to that final destination. Sometimes it makes sense to choose the simplest option because you have limited time to devote to the project. 
Other times, it makes sense to choose the fastest route to the end point because you have other places to go after that. And many times, the way you get somewhere really doesn't matter very much once you're there. Be wary of stopping to polish up all those little bits along your way when that time and effort ultimately is just going to be wasted. When you review your circle and arrow map from left to right, you can see what parts make sense and what might need revising, where the path needs a little bit of straightening and clarifying. Again, you need to get it down on paper first, though, or digitally, before you can start moving those parts around. So what can you do right now? Draw that first circle with the end result in it, and ask yourself, what was the very next-to-last thing you did before you arrived there? Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Claire Tompkins, The Clutter Coach. If you like the show, I'd love it if you'd leave a rating and review in iTunes. You can subscribe, too, so the podcast will be ready and waiting for you to listen to. You'll find the show notes on my blog at www.cluttercoach.net. And you can check out my store to find books I've written and a whole bunch of other stuff. If you're a fan of the show, you can become a patron on patreon.com for as little as a dollar a month. You can find my page by going to the Patreon website, that's P-A-T-R-E-O-N, and searching on Clutter Coach. I'll still post the podcast free of charge, but I've got some cool rewards for folks who want to help me make the show even better. Come back next week for a new podcast. 